Good morning, everyone. We're at the beginning of the trailhead of Myrtle Lake. We got a portage in two and a half kilometers. As you can see behind, we've got three canoes that are going to make the trip out along the lake. We're going to spend four days, and uh, I think you'll agree it looks amazing up here. All right, so we've finished the portage. We're at the lagoon, but as you can see, it's a bit windy out there. So uh, unfortunately, we probably have to change our plans. We're not gonna try to make the long trip right now. We're gonna hit the closest group site, and then hopefully the weather will calm down and we can paddle up to where we had planned to go. If not, we'll take it easy and make some changes. <clears throat> it's one o'clock in the afternoon. We have light until nine o'clock. So if this thing does blow over by about four, then we'll head up to uh, the camp that we're looking to uh, go to. And if not, then well, we'll set up camp here. All right, so it's uh, Friday morning. Got a bit of a late start, but as you can see, the storm blew over yesterday and uh, the weather looks great. Keep winding, Joshy. How's it going? Do you think you have a fish on? What do you think? Woohoo! Ooh. I got no. a fish! Oh, what do you think? You got a fish? Let's see. Oh, you got something. What are you eating, What Daddy? do you got? Oh. Did you catch a fish, buddy? Hold it up. <laughs> well done. Just uh, broken free of the protection up on the points and we've got a good number of waves coming in. Nothing huge, but you can see a, a bit of uh, weather pushing through and a bit of wind, so we're gonna push forward to the next point. Hopefully when we get past this big inlet over here, with all the waves coming out of it, we'll uh, have a bit more protection, but for now, it's paddle So here time. we are, we hit straight camp in just about two hours, so about four kilometers an hour or so to get here. Uh, beautiful little area, awesome sights, lots of sand, warm beaches right now. Oh, this is so awesome to be here. There's a creek coming in behind, so they've probably got some pretty good fishing back there. It's not too deep, but we should have some fun. So we'll probably take a break here for a little while, let the kids play. And then if we are up for it, maybe head off to the next campsite. All right, we are way past the straight point camp. The weather was calming down, so we headed out there. And it's about another eight kilometers we've just about I headed. It's a snag, but it's a big fish. Right now, it's Good. Keep the rod out sideways, my friend. Bring the rod tip around to me. Yeah, bring the rod tip over here, okay? Get, just, just keep going, keep going. You're doing what? You're doing. Wind a bit more. Wind a bit more. That's a good okay, come on. Keep it over here. Bring it up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just, uh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, just bring it over a bit more. Yes, it's a good one. What do you think it's, of your fish? It's <laughs> that is awesome. Well That's done. We just pulled off from Moonlight Campsite, Moonlight Bay, and uh, we're heading off again to the next site. So we've covered about 16 kilometers today on the canoes. We can take a break, and get everybody get out and uh, stretch their legs. And now we head off down the lake some more. We're gonna head up all the way to the next site, which is apparently pretty beautiful. Got some fish. And uh, I think they've just caught some more, so. Beautiful, absolutely incredible, this lake. It's just, just awesome. It's almost no one around. Eagle Point. Finally, after I don't know how many hours, we made it. Oh yeah, worth the view. Well, it's Saturday, the morning of day three. It's around six something. Uh, the night was beautiful. I got up at about midnight or so, and uh, we took a look at the stars. It was just incredible. Just beautiful view, clear sky. And we woke up early <clears throat> to a calmish lake but also um, clouds, so it's 
still enough uh, clearance for a good view. There's a bit of sunshine over there, somewhere. So I have to tip the camera. And our plan is to get up and have a quick breakfast and pack and get going. So I'm not going to waste any more time on the camera. So we made it to the end of the lake to Myrtle Beach Camp. Beautiful view of the mountain behind us. Beautiful sight at the end of the lake. As you can see, incredible view and we're gonna head all the way back that down there. Lots of bugs here, lots of bugs. But it's beautiful and we made it. So awesome. You got one? You can tell it's somewhere around there. See? Tip it towards me a little bit. Yo, this is a fighter. Alright, let's see. Whoa, whoa, bring it over. Bring the tip over. Little guy. Just bring it over here. Look at that. A clean one. Well done. Alright, I think we'll have to let this one go, but that was a good catch. Out already. What do you have to say for yourself, my friend? You climb up the mountain? End of day three. We finished cooking. We're uh, pushed forward onto Straight Point Camp and uh, had an awesome meal of pizza and cooking up some more fish that we caught because got some more fish. Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful view back there. Tomorrow we have to head back up home. But, uh, Definitely want to come back again. Sunday morning, the last day, we're headed back to the beginning of the trail to Portage Out. The weather is beautiful, the lake is peaceful, and uh, I think we're all a bit sad to be leaving. Hopefully some fish will cheer us up. So we're finally coming to the end of the lake and heading towards the lagoon. It's uh, the last day of a beautiful trip, beautiful scenery. So, uh, and I would definitely recommend if you uh, do Myrtle Lake, it'll be time well spent. Winding your fish. Keep winding a little bit more. Hey, look at that.